We are Chipper LLC Trailers and Equipment, and in front of me I have a Halverson HWP-140B and a Halverson HWP-120. I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about the similarities and the differences. So they're uh, kind of a similar design um, machine with a similar framework. Um, same 25 inch cutting bar. Um, some of the difference would be the 120 is going to be 14 GPM to 20 GPM. The 140 is going to be from 15 GPM to 20 GPM. The 120 is going to be built mostly on a quarter inch thick frame. Um, the 140 is built mostly on a 3 inch frame. It's going to be heavier in weight and heavier in its duty class. Um, they're both going to have the same style wedge system. You can have a slip on two way, four way, or six way. You have a four way there, six way already mounted. Uh, it's manual pin adjustable. You have to go up to the 150 to get the hydraulic wedge adjustment. Um, so manual adjust. So you can either choose to either one set it at. Typically, I will set mine for the, what I want for my. Typically, I would set mine for what I want my lower piece to be, and then the top is just it is what it is. So um, another way is some people will remove the pin and use a block of wood because the foot of the wedge will come out underneath the processor and you can actually just set the processor down on a block of wood and it will push your wedge up and then gravity will bring it down if you want that adjustability. I prefer to set it once and forget it. Um, but you can take a look at the push block, push block on the 120, push block on the 140. You can see the 140 has got a heavier push block. If you look at the radial arm clamp, um, you're about 12 and a half inches from the base to the tip on the 120, about uh, 14 and a half from the base to the tip on the 140, and the 140 it's just beefier and the spikes are um, more aggressive. The uh, 140 is a commercial unit with a commercial saw. Um, it's going to be, be a more powerful saw and it's designed for a lifetime of commercial use. This is the line for a lifetime of rancher use. You know, maybe this might be 100 cords a year. This one might be 10 or 15 cords a year. Um, the saw motor is going to be a little bit less aggressive. Of course, the price point is lower. Um, but while they look very similar, um, if you just look at them by themselves, when they're side by side, you can see the 140s um, increases. And looking at 15 inch capacity with, like I said, that smaller clamp and a 11 inch trough and then 18 inch capacity with a 12 inch wide trough and a little bit bigger clamp. Um, all models in stock here at Chipper LLC sales um, on our website www.chipperllcsales.com uh, price and specs everything you need um, ask about our aggressive um, shipping rates or come in and Pick one up on site. We try to keep all models of the Halverson lineup in stock. And they're a fantastic uh, machine for someone who has a skid steer and wants to use it as the power source for a processor. I mean, so you can take your skid steer and about $10,000 and have what is the guts of maybe a $35,000 standalone processor. Um, by using your skid steer as the, as the, basically your, it's both acting as the frame, the undercarriage, the mover, and the power source. And the 140, um, I would say this is um, a very um, strong 18 inch firewood processor. I mean, I would say you would have to spend over $50,000 to get a standalone processor that's gonna have the um, saw and split cycle times and speed is this 140. Um, so it allows you to use your skid steer and without sinking in too much money, you're looking maybe about anywhere from 16.5 to about 17 current prices because everything changes, but um, current prices on these models right now. Um, Watch our other videos for both the 100 series, which is your smaller entry level, and the 150 series, which is your um, larger diameter um, commercial. Um, thanks for watching. One feature of the 140 that I almost overlooked 
is the measuring device. The Model 140 and 150 have a manual movable device so that you can repeatedly cut the same length of wood. You set it for the length of wood you want, and then it'll automatically go to it. The 120 and 100 models, if you want shorter than full length wood, you just have to visually set the length.